Hey everyone, TTT here. Now let's get out there and do some affection events and maybe side quests. Hello. Can we talk? Sure. Good. Um, hello. Did you need something from me? Oh, you just came to check up on me? Okay, I'm fine. There's no need to worry about me. Um, have you... Have you had a nice day? Sure I had. Mm. Yeah, it would be nice if we could chat more. Uh, what nonsense. The others in our group, they tend to leave me be. You're the only one that approaches me to talk. Do I really give off such an unfriendly vibe? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I've never had friends. I don't know how to relate to people well. I couldn't even call Satomi a friend, really. She was just someone to work alongside. What do friends normally talk about? Do they talk about other people? For example, sure. I think I can try that. Daisuke, he is a nice person. Tia, she is a nice person. <laughs> Charlotte, she is a nice person. Owen, he is... Hmm, and then there's you. <laughs> she just skips Owen's description. You... I need more time to think about. Maybe we can talk about you next time. And I think she skipped the Misha altogether. So, come talk to me again, please. Sure thing. Here we have a side quest. Do you like Japanese music? I do. I love Japanese pop, more commonly known as J-pop. Yeah. My favorite band is ABC98. They're pretty big right now. I think that's a reference to something. I'm looking to get a guitar so I can learn to play music. I want to be in a J-pop band. Um, do you think you could help me out by buying me a guitar? Even a really cheap one will do. I have my eye on a junior guitar I saw on sale at the Rusty Knife Cafe. It's that weird place to the north of the city that people say sells weapons. So, what do you say? Buy me a junior guitar? Sure. Thank you so much. When you've bought a junior guitar, come back here and I'll give you a reward. That was side quest 10, was it? Ah, uh, yeah, that was. Okay. Hello! Sure thing. Let's hang out, Daisuke. Sorry if I'm a bit blue today. After our last battle, I got to watching some old DVDs I never got around to. I... I watched nearly three seasons of that old sci-fi show, Lost in Space Bar. You know, the one where they own a bar at the corner of the galaxy? I don't think I do, but go on. Well, I completely fell in love with it. And I especially liked the protagonist. But then... In the final episode, he sacrificed himself to save his friends. It was so noble, so heroic, but now I can't get his final words out of my head. It's really got me down. Uh, let's ask what they were. Thank you for asking. I knew you would want to hear it, too. The hero's final words were spoken as he sacrificed himself to defeat the aliens. He said, Thank you, everybody. I'll never forget the friendship you showed me. Even in our darkest hour, you were all there for me. You supported me and held me high. 
This is all I can do to repay you. All I can do to save the human race. Goodbye. Just for a little while. And with that, he... he... Sorry. S sorry. I'll pull myself together. The thing is, that episode got me thinking. I'd give anything to have the kind of friendship the hero shared with his crew members. I mean, the closest friend I've ever had would have to be you. Aww. Thanks, Sasuke. I like you too. I've never had many people open up to me. Never had anyone want to fight beside me. Huh. I... Uh, I want to think this over a bit more. Thanks for coming out to see me today. No problem. See you next time. See ya. Also, Hello! I'm gonna have to kick you out of the party for the time being. I see. Hi. Hey, I've been looking for you. Want to jam? Got a spare guitar you can play. Do I have to? You're here! There's no time to waste. Come with me. I found this sweet place we can use to rehearse. It's totally empty. Okay, okay, listen up. I've written our first hit song. Let me just amp up my guitar. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna play this for you now, and you gotta tell me what you think, right? I want you to be completely honest, but remember, it's still a work in progress. Okay, deep breath, Misha. Here goes. I saw you standing there that day, holding a heavy heart, feelings fading away. Nothing I could say would ever make you stay. Now my life is empty, and you're so far away. So, um... Um, I think that might be missing the genre. Uh, what do you think? Embarrassing, right? Not heavy metal, I think she was into punk rock, right? That's nice, but I still feel like it's missing the genre. Wait, really? You honestly like it? <sighs> That's a load off my mind. I'll keep working on the song, that cool? This is gonna be a big hit one day, I can feel it. Anyway, you ready to jam? Let's rock! One, two, three, four! So, shall we study? Ugh, this sucks. Okay, now who do we add? Choco stays, certainly. Mm. Well, let's put in Owen and Charlotte since they're already Aww, here. Study time. Well, I'll do my best. Time to study. Equipment. Okay, and that one person wanted a junior guitar. Let's see. Oh, it was the first one even. Certainly cheap enough. Wow, you got me a guitar. Let me just take that off you. It's so cheap and tacky, but I gotta start somewhere. Thanks. How about I teach you a few Japanese words associated with music? Let's get right into it. Ongaku. Ongaku. This means music in Japanese. It can be used to refer to music in general. Ongaku. Means music. Uta. Uta. This means song. This word can be used to talk about a song, usually with lyrics. Uta means song. Guitar. Guitar. This means guitar. Guitar. Piano. Piano. This means piano. Piano. 
Bando. Bando? This means band. This is used to refer to a band of musicians. Bando. Means bad. Band. Classical. Hmm. Classical. This means classical. This is used to refer to classical music. Classical. Means classical. Rest clear to walk on, superstar. That's all the words I have for you. Here's a small reward for your troubles. 10,000 yen? Whoa, that's not a small reward. I know I just gave you an awful lot of money, so I made you go buy me such a cheap guitar. The truth is, I'm very rich, but very lazy. Thanks for your help. Come see me again if you want to review these words. Well, I'll take it. Thanks. No. Next Hello. lesson. Study time. Oh, not to review. Study time. Ready for a new lesson? Let's go. Chapter 7 Darkness Rising. You're wrong! The best band in the world is Wing 76, followed closely by the red Barchettas? Ish. Nah, you've got no taste. Wing 76? You're kidding me, right? <laughs> huh, then who do you like? You know. Um, duh. It's all about the surf work. I can't even name just one. There's so many good bands. Yeah, right. You can't name one because there aren't any. <laughs> no. Um. Hey guys, I'm sure there's at least one band you both like. What do you reckon it could be? Uh. Um. I guess it would be a popular band, right? Ah, uh, gross. I suppose the setting hawks are pretty good. Uh, nope. They suck. I like the terrible Tuesday, so. Nope. Gross. Sorry. Yikes, this isn't going anywhere. <sighs> hey, does anyone else listen to ABC 98? They're an all girl pop band with 98 members. They're so cool. Seriously, that's a uh, reference to something. I think it was AKB48 or something? I'm not a, I'm not sure of the exact number, but I think that was it. Whoa. 98 members? How many of them play drums? Uh-oh. Um, don't know, but they are super talented, and the electros are insane. I have three of the albums on CD, and digitally of course. Plus I got their first release on Collector's Edition vinyl. It was limited to 10 billion copies. That's... Not very limited. I also have posters, magazines, a couple of signed photographs from when they visited Germany. Oh, and I'm an admin on the German fan forums. What else? I have the live concerts on DVD, old ticket stops, t-shirts, a napkin that they used on a show that I bought online. <sighs> Yeesh, Andrea, I never knew you were such a fangirl. You made my love of Wing 76 look tame. I'm gonna embarrass myself, haven't I? <laughs> Don't sweat it, I like your passion. I'm gonna make cupcakes. Oh, thanks, T Bean. I'm gonna make you cupcakes. Be right back. Gotcha! Ooh, cupcakes. I'm right behind you. <sighs> Alrighty then. What are you two fighting about now? Daisuke Sensei. Nothing, Daisuke Sensei. Sheesh. Um. Where are Tia and Andrea going? We're supposed to be in class. Just came looking for you all. <laughs> they want to make cupcakes, Daisuke Sensei. Do you want to share a cupcake with me? Uh... The cupcakes are for Tia, not you and Daisuke. Owen. Owen, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my darling Daisuke Sensei. Catch you tomorrow. Peace. No man, that's it. I'm out. Ah. No, come back. Our lesson. Excited to learn some Japanese vocabulary? The theme of this lesson is household items. Here's our first word in katakana. Computer. Computer is Japanese for computer. Alternatively, you could use pasokon. Ready for the next word? Terebi. Terebi is Japanese for television. Toire. Toire is Japanese for toilet. Beddo is Japanese for bed. Sofa. 
So far, it's Japanese for so far. Okay, that's five words done. That covers all the katana kanak words in this lesson. Let's take a look at five words written in hiragana. Hoki. Hoki is Japanese for broom. Hashi. Hashi is Japanese for chopsticks. Kagu. Kagu is Japanese for furniture. Kagi. Kagi is Japanese for key. Osara is Japanese for plate. Although you can skip the O and just say Sara. Because of your hard work, you've learned 10 new Japanese words. Give yourself a round of applause. Before we continue on to our next katakana lesson, would you like to save the game? Nope, not yet. And we got the series. Lesson number 7 coming right up. Give yourself a pat on the back, because from here on, out it's smooth sailing. None of the upcoming sets of characters use Dakten or Han Dakten, here we go. The characters above are Ma, Mi, Mu, Me and Mo. They follow our vowel sounds and order like usual, no exceptions this time. I'll take you through these new characters one by one. Time to tackle the first one. Ma. This is Ma. Like in the word Mart. Ma. Stalk count 2. The second stalk is rather short. Remember to make it di diagonal. Me. Me. Like in the word meat. Me. Stalk count 3. Three diagonal lines, and none of them connect to each other. Just be sure to make the final stalk at the bottom the longest one. Mu. Mu. Like in the word moon. Mu. Stroke count 2. The first stroke looks like it could be two separate strokes, but don't lift your pen. And the small diagonal stroke to the end of it. Me. Me, like in the word met. Me. Stroke count 2. Looks pretty straightforward. Line up the second stroke so that it crosses through the first stroke just a bit higher than the middle. Mo. Mo. Like in the word moat. Mo. Stroke count 3. Complete the two horizontal strokes first, so you can line up the final stroke in the center. Well done, you've learned another 5 katakana characters. That's the end of this lesson. It was so much shorter than the last one. Keep up the great work. So we got 7. Now that the lesson is finished, let's have a short quiz to test what you've learned. Ma. Mu. Mi. Mo. And me. Phew, we should continue exploring in Japan. Or oh, exploring Japan. Kyoko mentions that Satomi is likely in the Aogigahara Ao forest. For some reason, I ca just can't pronounce that smoothly. Exit the city and head towards Aokigahara. That was more smooth than the last few. I'll get, I'm getting there. Get going, champion. Okay, but before we head there, let's take a break. See you next time. Until then, bye bye.